All right, motherfuckers, I'm back. <laughs> All right, we got some Varietal Beer Co. This one's anti-solar. It's a New Zealand IPA. Let's see what we got here. We got 7% alcohol. Uh, it's a hazy IPA, and it says it's brewed with New Zealand-grown Galaxy, Waime, Waiiti, and Nelson Sauvin hops. So right there, all that info for you. Uh, Bridal, I've shown many times. They're one of the local guys. Make some really good shit. Oh, that is unique. I think I've had the Waiiti before. Waiiti. I don't think I've ever had Waime. I've definitely had Galaxy and Nelson Saw. Really good though. Really like unique fruit punch up front that I'm not kind of not kind of used to. And then just a little bit of a kind of dry, bitter um hot bite on the end. <sighs> nice. Okay. We're gonna be using some declaration grooming in collaboration with Chatelon Lux Confluence. This is a new one to the lineup, and it is a good one. <clears throat> we'll take a look at it right there. You can see where I scooped it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is good shit. I'll give you guys a little look at the uh, side label. Typical uh, milk steak uh, packaging and labeling. The milk steak is the uh, soap base. Let me get the ingredients right there. Really good stuff. So, Confluence, a new one to the lineup. Looks like it's about four ounces for 23 bucks at the Razor Company. Uh, the scent notes are frankincense, palo santo, benzoin, uh, elemi, cedar, black spruce, atlas cedar, uh, juniper, and fir balsam. So, pretty interesting stuff. He, uh, said the inspiration uh, on this one was a carnivorous forest um, burning incense and, and kind of like the scene of a newly built hamlet which is kind of like smaller than a town smaller than a village it's just kind of like you're barely throwing down camp more or less all right so we got the soap right here in the Lancaster bowl. We got the um, Alpha shaving outlaw handle with a AP Shave Co. Jealousy Badger Knot. Very good looking lather there. What we're going to do is we got the menth dealer. This, of course, is the salt shaker with menthol crystals inside. You can see that little chamber right there. We're just going to crank that baby. And add some precious crystals to this shave. So there we go. The menth dealer is back. And we'll just get that nice and incorporated real quick. It's been a while since I busted out the menth dealer. And I was looking at it. I think once I got more into winter, I kind of backed off a little bit. But uh, I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? The fucking menth dealer rides again tonight. <laughs> It went with the uh, shave of the day pick, so might as well, right? All right. I've been really enjoying using the milk steak soap base as of late. It is definitely one of my favorite soap bases to use. Uh, I don't have a whole hell of a lot of it in my den, but what I do have, I enjoy. Minus Nightman. And I think... It's one of the better soap bases that I've came across. I just I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. <clears throat> so, the scent on this one, I'd say it's right around 5. Right around 5 out of 10. I'm nice and medium. It's not super bold and banging, but it's there to be enjoyed. And it is a quite unique, it's almost a calming type scent, you know? Um, 
kind of gives you this feeling you know, like you're kind of like on the edge of a forest but you're in kind of like an open an open field rather and you just kind of it's kind of like maybe more in the summertime and you you're kind of surrounded by foliage and different carnivorous plants that are kind of baking in the sun and releasing their fragrance. I think it's it's real nice. I think the uh, hamlet nearby kind of gives you that little bit of Palo Santo and incense. Really good vibe. I like it. We're going to be busting out the Kamasuri since our buddy Justin, the Red Island Shaver, check him out on YouTube. Um, he used his first kami the other day, so I figured I'd bust out my kami that I got from putting down roots a while back. Um, didn't have the favorite edge, my favorite edge that I've ever came across on it, but, uh, it could entirely be my, um, infamiliarity with commissories that was the culprit because... I definitely don't have a ton of experience with commissories. I also saw my buddy uh, Lord Shady get talked through his first commissory Chevette shave the other day. Uh, I was in a private live or a private chat, I should say, with Ken from Shave326 and the Degenerates. And my buddy, Lord Shady, was doing his first ever uh, commissory shave. It just so happened to be in a inexpensive Chevette format. And he fucking nailed it. And Ken was a absolutely awesome teacher I was kind of going through the motions with my straight razor kind of trying to uh, just hold the grips and imagine the uh, processes as he was explaining it I've also had my buddy uh, the captain lather me whiskers he has displayed had a commissary shave for me a number of times and I really thank him for that we're definitely cutting I don't know <laughs> I don't know how good I'm doing but we're definitely cutting we have a an extra day of growth but you can see <laughs> we're getting it down and really at least with the grain it doesn't feel too um, uncomfortable, so, so far, so good. I am not going to stick to doing a single-handed or single side. I'm just going to attempt to change my shaving angle. I do have a hard time doing it absolutely traditional and although I want to learn to do it absolutely traditional I think it may take away a little bit of my enjoyment um, going through that process and sort of struggling it takes away a little bit of my enjoyment so I figured might as well just bust out a nice shave um, the best way I can. And I can always take another crack at it in the future, doing it absolutely traditional. All right, so let's see here.
This soap is just slick as fuck. I think it is definitely giving me a hand with this edge. I still don't think it's the absolute sharpest. I feel like there's like this entry level tug. Like, it's not to the point where it's so uncomfortable, at least not this time around. But there's definitely something that I perceive, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I still plan on sending it out. And possibly getting somebody who has a little bit of experience with Chevette's to uh, touch up this edge or, you know, start from scratch with it. Because I would like that to feel just a little bit more comfortable. But that wasn't, uh, that wasn't a bad first pass whatsoever. It definitely didn't feel uncomfortable. And I didn't feel too awkward. I think using both sides of the blade kind of helps. Although one side requires a little bit more of a uh, angle. A shaving angle than the other but absolutely uh, no problems adjusting to that you can kind of feel when you got it all wrong you know if you got that shaving angle all wrong it'll either be very scrapey or you just won't you'll feel like you're not cutting so if you're too far one way or the other you're either going to be very uncomfortable, or you're just not going to be cutting at all, and you'll know. God damn. I do enjoy this, uh, Jealousy Knot. And I absolutely love the look of this Alpha Outlaw handle. I have two of them. I think in my last shave, or maybe two shaves ago, I used the silver one. Now I'm using the red one. And the motherfucking uh, milk steak base. There's nothing I can complain about it really. I figured it's very easy to dial in and it just performs like a motherfucker, so there's really <laughs> no complaints. Alright, let's see if we can. Get a nice uh, against the grain going here. <clears throat> so I did have my arraignment for my DUI. If you guys watched my Facebook Live upload. Very unfortunately... Got a DUI. And, uh, I went to my arraignment and they told me, considering I have a clean slate, no, uh, no history, really, that I'd be looking at the bare minimums, most likely, and hopefully they keep that same energy next month when I go in for another hearing. Hopefully they keep that same energy. I have a clean record, so I'm really hoping. I can get away with the bare minimums. Please send some good vibes my way. I definitely use all the good vibes y'all are willing to spare. But enough on that. This is actually feeling pretty fucking enjoyable. The fact that I can, uh, switch hands and use both sides. I think if I had a western commissary 
you'd see me using it all the fucking time. Using both sides is an absolute, um, it, it's a game changer. It, it is an absolute game changer being able to use both sides interchangeably. Doing it uh, traditional with the one side only uh, technique. One hand and one side of the blade. That is very difficult. Especially when you're not just wiping the face clean, you know. If you're a clean, clean shaver, no beard, I feel like there are certain advantages. Because there's nothing to, to line up. Like, your objective is to wipe the lather off the face, make it disappear, you know a race and that's fine oops what am I doing let me clean this off that's fine because there's challenges that come with that as well like the chin area the mustache area but the beard has its own challenges <laughs> let that be known I think some of the guys who grew beards in no shave November I think they became familiar with the challenges of a bearded shaver and maybe grew a little bit of respect plenty of residual slickness it is very nimble though the uh, commissary like I feel like I can make adjustments and really tune in fine tune my uh, beard lines I kind of like that about it. Very nice. I think I'm going to call it right there. I'm not going to push my luck. I did my uh, usual with the grain and against the grain pass. And I think we, uh, we, at least did, we at least did decent. You know, might not be the closest shave I've ever got, but... It definitely is going to be serviceful, at least. So, let's take another swig right here. We had a nice, low cooling throughout this whole shave, which was very enjoyable. Kind of missed that. And pretty much everything fucking performed, so including me, so... That's what I'm talking about. That was a very enjoyable shave. I took the day off yesterday. It was my wife's birthday. And uh, we had a little family time, so. <clears throat> took the day off yesterday. And uh, didn't shave or anything. But it's always nice when you come back after multiple days off. You have that little bit of extra growth that you get to mow down. It always just feels fantastic so fantastic <laughs> said it twice for uh for shady all right let's uh grab the lancaster and we'll get to some poche there we go i don't think i got the strap wet mm. speaking of lancaster he made a post and that's two posts in a rather, rather short period of time. So I think he is gearing up. And this was a long post, sort of like the last one. The last one he was saying, you know, I'm bringing gear into the shop. And then this post he was saying, you know, these are some expectations um, in the for the near future. So I think. If you're a Lancaster fan like I am, or if you just want to know um, what everyone's raving about, I think your time is coming. I think I set out like on the last two 
Lancaster drops. I wanted some other people to get some. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't buying up stock because I already had a few of the popular items, so I just sat it out. I do not know if I can be so kind <laughs> this next time around. All right. I think we got the majority of, majority of it off. I'm going to be using the matching aftershave splash. Confluence, I think this is a casual banger, like uh, like I recently dubbed that term, casual banger. I think, what did I use it on last? I can't remember what I used it on last, but uh, I think that's what it is. I think it's a casual banger. It's not necessarily much of a cologne type scent. I mean, it is a cologne by Chatelon Lux. But I don't think it's, like, sexy or something you would wear out, um, wear out to a formal occasion or anything like that. I think this is something for personal enjoyment, more casual experience, and in that regard, I think it's a personal banger. So, that will do it for me. That was a fucking nice shave, I gotta be honest. And it doesn't feel half bad. I think it's at least a damn fine shape, so that's good. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for all the support as always. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good rest of your week. Cheers.